Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining in. This is uh, a Africans cursed. I didn't say it's Africa cuss, cursed. A Africans curse. When I travel all over the world, and not just in the world, even in America, I can remember as a young guy hearing people say that black people were cursed. And I could never understand that. I thought they were just making that up. Then only one preacher in my life I ever heard talk about the ham story. That was uh, Fred Price out in Los Angeles about 20 years ago. But when I sit back and I look at when the Bible was rewritten, before Gutenberg came with the printing press, the only knowledge that was available was the Jesuits and the priests. But I wanna just go over some things. I'm gonna be a little bit long-winded. Please, if you like what we're doing, please click subscribe and share. I'm not here to bash anyone. But when they wrote the Bible and when they interpret the Bible, they just interpret it for the West. You know and I know is many, many other, you know, you got the Ming Dynasty that they got over 25,000 years of recorded history. You have the Aboriginals who have 75 million years of history. So when you sit back and look at what Queen Isabella and what King James did with the Bible, and I'm going to leave some of this in the descriptions, but I want to just, just, just read some of these things. I've been researching this right here. You know, the Portuguese, they was the, the first pe people who was present in Africa to uh, take the people out. And uh, when I say take the people out, sell it tribe against tribe. And then you move up to, uh, they said you can go in, any any indigenous people, whether they was in the Caribbean, they, they killed all the particular, uh, the natives who was in Jamaica and brought all the people from uh, Ghana to Jamaica. When you sit back and look at the great, let me just give you some, some, some backup, some work. When you go to Timbuktu, you go to Mali Empire. Uh, some people believe that all life started in Ethiopia. I am one of these people who believe in that. Am I going to sit here and beat and talk about the Bible? No, it is a holy book that was misscrewed and misinterpreted, misinterpreted by a bunch of crooks to perpetuate slavery. They use it as a tool to beat people up. And I'm not just gonna let, uh, you had the Arab trade. I mean, magic mirror on the wall always say, who's the evilest of them all? It is man. When you look at uh, black America, as well as the Caribbean, we still have the pigmentation, light skin, dark skin. I was down in New Orleans uh, back in November for jazz. I think September, November, I was down there. And we had a jazz uh, meeting with all the jazz minds from all over the country. And the guy pulled me aside. He said, hey, man, they don't like dark people talking like this. I'm saying it's 2023. And I was down. I didn't realize because when I go to New Orleans, I just, I just thought people was people. But I didn't know the Creole thing. I mean, when you look at how that ham story have devastated the African diaspora, whether you're in Brazil, whether you're in a Dominican, whether you're in Cayman Island, whether you're in Jamaica or Bahamas, where you don't love yourself. And people who are teaching you, in the back of their mind, they're thinking that you are cursed. I just want to rip that onion so you can understand, I don't believe in witchcraft. I don't believe in curses. I believe that God made all of us with 206 bones, no matter what's your original nationality, uh, I'll be in Germany this week and I'm going to the Gutenberg Museum and I'm going to take some pictures of, of that and, and talk to some people in Mads. I'm going to the International Monetary Fund and when you look at 190 countries as represented and you look at all the resources are in Africa, this is not a, a black or white or a slavery thing. But then when you look at what Otto von Bismarck, what he did, when they had the Berlin Conference, they partitioned off all of Africa. The Europeans, they only love uh, Liberia because America already took that over. You know, they called Morabella, that's after the President Monroe. And for some reason, they left Ethiopia alone. I think that's a holy place they knew better. So when you sit back and you look at what is going on in 2024, why 
are we still having the same argument? We must call out false teaching. I don't see anybody doing it. And, and, and it's not that I'm a courageous guy or I have all this knowledge. I'm not the smartest guy. All this stuff is at your fingertips. But when you look at the images, the sample images, you look at, even when I was young, when I used to meet uh, Africans, I was watching Tarzan, I was so indoctrinated. I thought that all the Africans was like everybody else until I went to Legos. But even going to Legos, you see them selling bleaching cream. When you look at what Churchill did to the Indians, he starved millions of them. You look at what Leopold and the boys in Belgium did to the Congo people, some estimates 100 million, some 50 million. In, the, in order to kill a person, I have to demonize them. In order to demonize them, I have to have a scapegoat, like what Hitler did with the Jews. He had, you have to have a scapegoat to kill somebody. But this is our Africans cursed. Not Africa, our Africans. When you go to different places, Puerto Rico, they even have, and these are Indians that was conquered by Spain, but they even have some, some light skin, dark skin. When you look at uh, King James, you, you know, uh, and the Scots, I, I, mean, I mean, he rewrote the Bible and the people who rewrote it, he killed them all. Then uh, you look at my man, Martin Luther, what he did with the Catholic Church, he said, you can't pay your way. But his buddy in Mans, Germany, Gutenberg, once they, remember, most people don't realize everybody wasn't able to have books. Everybody wasn't, uh, wasn't no Microsoft, wasn't no internet. So whatever the church said, that was the law. That was the law. Uh, and I'm gonna just read something. The modern European slave trade began in Africa in 1441 with 12 mans from, uh, from Cabo Branco was captured and taken to Portugal. They was taken for slave labor on the sugar plantations. And then in 1454, Pope Nicholas V issued a Roman bull granting the Portuguese a monopoly in the trade with Africa. Ignoring this monopoly, Spain also forced a way into the trade but quickly outlawed in uh, 1542. So they want to be nice. We was the first ones who go and slave them. We was the first ones who let it go. But after that, France came in and they took over. You know, when you talk about Senegal, you know, uh, a lot of those countries who speak, even me speaking this English language, that's a conquered language. When you look at my, my, my family, we, we didn't come over here on no Norwegian cruise ship or no carnival cruise. We was captured and that was evil. That was evil. You know, we talked about Leopold. But when you look at Georgetown University, you look at this senator, uh, his name was John Calhoun. He was a state senator, I mean, a, a state senator of South Carolina, a vice president. He's at the White House justifying slavery. George Washington, they justified slavery. But when you look at the history, you, you know, history don't lie and facts don't lie. I tell people this is not emotional, this is facts. You think about Christopher Addox. You think about Phyllis Wheatley. It's not about, remember, religion is a narcotic. A lot of black Americans go to church. They die broke, have a lot of, we, we shall overcome, amen, we shout. But we don't uplift and we don't really teach. Because I think pimping and preaching and hustling is almost the same in most churches, not all. Pimping, let me say it again, and preaching and poaching grandmama out of her social security check seem to be the norm. When you see 15-year-old boys shooting each other, as a former educator here in Detroit, I have uh, there's some good pastors. I talked about this before. But is Africans, are Africans cursed? We're not cursed. Let me just make that clear. I love my brown skin. And, and I have no problem with my pink friends and my brown friends and my red friends. 
when he went out, uh, went to college and saw what they did to Sid and Bull and the Sioux Nation. I mean, everywhere this European goes, he seems to take, as I said before, he takes guns and he takes God. But then he ends up with the land and all the resources. Because he justified this, he really don't feel bad about it because in the back of his mind, you are an animal. You was cursed. Then you look at the mulatto kids. I mean, I I, I don't have a problem with gay people. Mulatto, I, I love all people. We are God's creation. Man has misinterpreted the word of Africa, the land of Africa. When I look at the Brazilians, I look at the people all in the Caribbean, St. Croix, St. Lucia. All that raping that was going on. Go down to Australia. They almost wiped the people out. They got them living. Because in the back of their mind, they use that ham story to justify evil. Ham 925. And then this uh, thing they call uh, uh, the heroics. The tabus. These people have discussed this many, many thousands of years before slavery. What was compelling was last year I went to uh, Athens, but I went to Ethiopia first. But what was crazy when I was in Athens, I came back to Ethiopia. I mean, I came from I'm sorry, I came from Ethiopia back to Athens. The same thing in Athens was in Ethiopia ten thousand years ago. When I think about Timbuktu, some of the great universities in the world, we're not even talking about. Uh, uh, my man Cyrus. There's so many great civilizations that predated the Bible. But when they did the Bible, they only did that for the West. When you go to Rome, Rome is nothing but a Disney world for the New Testament. It's a lot of truth in the Bible. It's a lot of truth in the Quran. It's a lot of truth in the Bible. But my thing is one path to God. Whatever your God is, that's your business. I'm not here to condemn anyone. I am here to set the record straight. Africans are not cursed. Let me make that clear. Africans are not cursed. No group of people are cursed. He who controls the ink controls the narrative. He who controls the ink controls the narrative. I want this particular message to be shared with like-minded people. This is not to espouse any heat or any dissension. The Ku Klux Klan used the Bible, but they used it for wickedness. Those of you in America, I know it's an international platform. You may not know it. Uh, Ku Klux Klan, or they are a terrorist organization that was established in Indiana to terrorize black people from voting. When I think about Frank Fannie Lou Hamer and Martin Luther King and Ruskin, I think about all these people. A. Philip Randolph who fought, you know, uh, Carter G. Wilson who fought for Negro History Month. But my point is Africa. We need to understand and love on each other and, and quit using these European concepts that was implemented in 1452 to divide and conquer. Remember, as I always say, I'm not letting Africans off. The reason why most of us are in the American hemisphere is because some of your chiefs sold us. And I know you didn't think it was gonna be chattel slavery for 300 years. I know you didn't think that. But even still, in America, I'm not saying all, but I don't see any great alliances, and I'm in Detroit and New York, where you may look black, but your mind is more European. Tell me, I met some Africans that I'm really like, wow, where this guy come from? I don't even want to talk to him. Because that's part of that subconscious thinking that you're slavery. And then they came because you had your own religions, you know, and they thought you was, and they made you take their religion. I remember I was in Sudan in 84 with Manubo, I think 80, 84, 85. And we was down in Aswan down in um, Southern Egypt and went over and I saw all the Arabs running all, all, the, all the stores like, like in LA, all the Koreas or in New York, all the Koreas or in Detroit, all the Arabs. It's like, economically, we have lost our way because of that hamster. Some of us think 
it's okay to kill our brother. Some of us think it's okay to hurt our brother. Some of us think it's okay to talk about our brother. I am here for truth. Africans are not cursed. 925, 923 in Genesis. Look at that and teach your kids that all people are God's people. God used us all to do great things. When you look at Joseph, his family sold him. He sold him. But guess what? God uses everybody. When you look at even David and even Solomon, you look at it. When you look at the story of the Bible, bronze skin and bushy hair, what does that look like? So you got to realize with Michelangelo and all those guys did the Sistine Chapel and you go, I've been to every great cathedral from uh, Duomo in Milan, uh, the Vatican, uh, uh, you, you know, the big one over in Notre Dame in Paris. I've been to St. Saint James, St. Saint Charles in, in London. I've been to every one of them. Uh, Madrid, that's all you see is white angels. They have just whitewashed all the black people. You may, they may show you a black Madonna here and there, but that was use your image. If I could use your image to control you, that's why I got the image right here, a Harriet Tubman friend from my uh, friend Paul Collins. That's why I have Malcolm X right here from my friend Prentice Boswell, great artist. We need to give our kids images of themselves. And, and, and even the Europeans, I'm not mad at you because your great, 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 great four times grandfathers, they didn't think that Gutenberg was going to create a printing press. They didn't think that one day some little Negro like me will be sitting here being able to expose and unravel some of the lies of John Calhoun out of South Carolina, of George Wallace out of Alabama, of the Pope. The Pope said they was animals. Take all their resources and bondage and keep them enslaved. And they went to Africa with the program. And Otto von Bismarck. I went to college in North Dakota and these people know so much about their history. And I'm like, I went to school 12 years. Public school, let me just tell you, public school got to teach the program. You saw what DeSantis said. DeSantis is governor of uh, Florida. He got rid of all black history. Remember, the truth will set you free. Not a lot. The truth will set one free. But parents, you can't depend on these raggedy schools to teach your kids about African history. You cannot, let me say it again, I was in education for 27 years. A lot of great teachers, a lot of great administrators, they have no power. The curriculum is implemented as the Santa showed you in Florida from the State Board of Education. These public schools are nothing but perpetual jail prison pipeline, as well as a mental trap to keep your kid thinking that he's cursed thinking that he's a nigger. And I say that very, very clear. The public schools are traps, are agents, are institutional devices to perpetuate your kid that he or she is a curse. Please click, please subscribe, please share. This is our African's Curse, Genesis 925. Leave a comment. I will have all this information in, this, in the description. I hope you gain something out of this. And again, thank you for your unyielding support on this particular platform. Have a great, great rest of your day and educate your kids. Teach your kids. Show them the lies. Break them the yoke. Control your narrative. Thank you.